Hello, welcome to video 2 and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Autoresponder Unlimited software now that you've successfully installed it onto your web server. For the purposes of this video I'm going to um, I've, I've, in, I've, I've installed this onto a domain name that I'm not currently using and this is the home page for that domain name currently. By the time this video has ended it will contain a fully working functional sign up box instead of what you can currently see. So the first thing to do is to sign into our um, control panel using the password that you set in video 1. And now what you need to do is choose a name for your um, list and I'm just going to call this one Mark and click add account. Once you've done that then click on the accounts that you've created and now what you do here is decide whether you want to click on these two boxes or not. That first one if you click on it will include in the email that goes out to your subscriber a link so that they can take themselves off your list if they wish to do so. It's highly recommended that you do that. Send report to admin. What that will do if you tick it is each time somebody subscribes or unsubscribes from your list you will receive an email advising you of such. Redirect after registration to that um, whatever website address you put in there your subscriber will be redirected to it once they've subscribed up to your list um, so it's probably a good idea to send them to a sales page you can send them to a thank you page um, you could so if you wish to even send them to a bonus page we're offering them the bonuses for signing up to your list or you could just simply send them an email advising them that they need to check their emails and that it's not gone into spam etc. For the purposes of this video I'm going to just have my blog address go in there and then click save settings. Once you've done that we now need to set up the first message that will go out so click add a new message and at the bottom you will find these different variables and that will change depending on the customer's details. So for example first name, what that will do is if their first name is John it will put John, if it's Sarah it will put Sarah for example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, copy that and put welcome first name and then I'm going to put a message here now I've just quickly typed a message that will go out to as the first message to whoever subscribes once you've done that click save message and now this message will go out as soon as the person subscribes to your list. If you want to edit it all you need to do is click on that message and you can edit it there. If you want to add another message to go out after that first email click add new message and again likewise just type in something here click save message and now this message will go out one day after that first message. If you want to change that to two days all you need to do is type in the number of days that you want to go out. And then likewise if you want to have a third and fourth message you just need to put in how many days you want that after the previous message. So it's pretty s simple and straightforward. And now the th last thing that we need to do is to put the sign up box onto our website. To do that just click the generate HTML code button and then left click sorry right click in the box there and click on select all and then right click again and select copy and now open up the page where you're going to have your sign up box and open it up in notepad
and what you need to do is post the um, text in between the two body tags and you'll see also the first piece of text that you put in from video one just put it after there once you've done that save it and close it and now we are ready to upload that to our website so log into your web space using FileZilla or whichever FTP program you're using I'm signed into my web space so I'm now going to upload the web, what, the web page that's now uploaded so fingers crossed um, when I refresh this page it will have the sign up box on there and it is on there so now the next thing to do is to sign yourself up to your mailing list and check your emails and check that you will be directed to the website address that you put into that redirect form on your settings Oh, I didn't select a redirect URL, so I'll just go back in and do that. Uh, oh, I did, didn't I? Let's just click on that again. Right, it's worked now. What it was is um, the form that I had on that page was still from a previous test that I had done so it didn't recognize the fact that it was a new form so I copied the text into the form onto my HTML page again and re-uploaded it and then it worked fine so it's redirected me to my blog and now we just need to check our emails to check that we have successfully signed up OK Right, here is the email confirming we've had a new subscriber and it also gives you the option to take them off of your list if you want to do so. And this is the email which goes out for the first time to your new subscriber and as you can see that's all fully working and everything's okay. So I hope you've had not any problems. You should have it all now working fine. If you've had any problems please contact me using the support link on the CD-ROM. Bye.